All right, I think this is live. We're filling up the silo. It'll take a minute for people to pop on. The guy's about done uh, filling this silo. This is a smaller truck than before. I think it was a regular, a regular um, full-size truck before. I'm putting my gloves on, so hold on. But he's uh, almost done filling this up, and then Richard's gonna fill up his buggy, and we're gonna do the feeders one more time. Is the orientation right? Okay. You'll see it under new hit subscriptions, maybe, and then. But there's people that um, there's people on there, so. I wonder too if I'm on the Wi-Fi now. That's the only thing I'm worried about is that losing the internet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the orientation's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is a uh, delivery of oats. I can see. I can't um, type anything, but I can say stuff when I see things. But he's just getting done now. He's gonna, the rest of it's gonna go in a bag on the ground. What won't fit in the um, silo. And I realize you guys are all saying, why don't you just dump it into the um, Oatmobile? But <laughs> the, uh, the guy, he just wants to get in and get out and we just didn't want to mess around with spending the time to back up the automobile and even though in the future we might end up doing it that way but so the remaining oats are going in this bag and they'll have to scoop it out with five gallon pails but uh he just don't want to make the guy angry by spend making him spend more time and and backing up the automobile and and all that. The driver also, I guess, has COVID, so I'm trying to stay away from that. <laughs> yes, that is a thousand pound bag. Actually, that might be a, might be a one ton. Now, I guess it is a thousand pounder. When he gets out of here, we're gonna back up to the silo and go for a ride with the Oatmobile. Thing is noisy. See the new girl. I'm backing up. The guy still has some in there, and evidently there's no room for it, so they're trying to figure things out. I'm Mike, by the way, doing the talking. Yes, I have an accent. I'm from Maine. You guys can all make fun of me. I don't care. I got a wicked accent. All right, so they're going to go get the Oatmobile, I think, and try to fill that up. This is Randy's idea.
It's actually a little cold out here. Especially standing around, not doing much. I want to get into that heated uh, automobile. <laughs> Don't be making fun of my cat food bag opening. <laughs> Woo, is it cold? Evidently this guy's positive for COVID, so stand back a little bit. Richard's place here. He lives upstairs above the garage. Randy's place. The Oatmobile. And normally, well, I'll show you when I get down there. You can back right in there. Oh. Keep it yeah. very close in the snow. Yeah. I don't Yeah, it's a little bit of hassle to do it this way, but it, uh, you know, it's hard handling 50 pound bags every day, too. Yeah, the guy said there was some left in there, but it looks like there wasn't, there wasn't any left by the looks of it. There wasn't any left in there. <laughs> we'll get this automobile filled up in a minute with us through the silo. This is the Can-Am. Well, them guys are chit-chatting. Give it a little bit of a walking over here. The temperature, um, someone asked what the temperature was. It feels cold. I think it's like, I don't know, 15 or something like that, but sun's going down. 
Yeah, it seems off of close. Am I zoomed in? Okay, I must have zoomed in by mistake with my glove. Yeah, so this is the rig. So basically, there's a DeWalt drill, DeWalt angle drill, and with a, literally a socket on the end of that drill that goes onto the shaft, which turns like an auger inside there. It's almost like a small uh, ice auger type of thing. And then there's a little pump, a little uh, motor right there that runs it. I'm gonna try to look down in this thing. Okay. All right, it's got oats in it, so you can't see, can't see the auger and stuff because it's got oats in it already. But just a simple matter of a motor, a Dewalt within a drill, and then there's a cup. He has a push button inside that can, you know, to turn it off and on. So. They're just chit-chatting and... Here's Ryan off the school bus. Tell Ryan he's on video. Um, I don't know what the silo was. They bought that this year. I didn't really, I didn't really ask. I'm sure it was several thousand. And um, it holds about five and a half ton. And what happens is they deliver six ton. Uh, they have minimum, a minimum order of six ton on a delivery. So it holds five and a half. So they have to put the rest in that bulk bag. Ryan, how many antlers have you found this year? I'm sure. Four, five, six? Um, or more? Seven. Seven? It's Seven. You got quite a bet, huh? Yeah. Well, that's good. So you just get off the bus, huh? I thought they turned around in your driveway. Oh, well, that, that happened before they got stuck in here. Oh, they got stuck in here once? Yeah. So, so, I thought the bus turned around right over there, but he didn't know why, just didn't go around there at the first place. Yeah. But now we turned around the bus stop and then stopped right there. For I see. Yeah, they used to turn the bus around here in the driveway, but we got stuck once, so now they're turning around up the road and dropping him off at the end. I'll take a little walk over here while they're messing around. Let's see. Let me see. Let me walk over here. Yeah, this truck's a um, smaller truck, easier to get in and out of here than a full-size 48 footer. Come on, it's getting cold. Got 786 people <laughs> watching. Yeah, I know. Randy's a little closer than he should be. <laughs> Supposedly he does have COVID. They're still chit chatting. All right, come over 
here. There's the new garage they built last year. And of course, this is a, the view looking at the deer. You can see all the tracks that they've been coming up. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I, I just went down. You guys can laugh at that one. <laughs> Stepped on the ice and down I went. But there's the tracks that the, where the apples are getting thrown out. And you can see there's some turkeys down there. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, there's a snowmobile over there going. Snowmobile trail goes right by there. You can see that actually there's a big buck down there now. Some turkeys and a big buck. We're waiting for this truck to get out of here so we can get down there and fill up. Is that right, Ryan? What do you think? How was school today? Good. That's good. Nice and warm in the school, probably. It's better than being outside, isn't it? Oh, yeah, way better than being inside. The teacher keeps, like, a crack of the window open because we need to keep that crack of the window open. Oh, really? Uh, this, like, um, um, thing where it blows out air. Oh, I that see. Needs it needs to go outside, yeah. yeah. I just took, fell down right here on the ice. You did? Yeah, on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says, hi, Ryan. All right, so is that guy uh, going to be leaving show at Leo? Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> An antler down there? Yeah. Where? Right by the turkeys? Yep, behind oh, I see. Uh, is that an antler, you think? I think so. Huh. Let me see. Behind the turkeys, he thinks it might be an antler. It looks like something. I can't hold my phone close enough to see. It's Ryan's, right Ryan's going to go down and check it out. You want to go down the road, though. Be looking at the um, cams down there. Ryan's gonna go down and see if there's an antler down there by the turkey. Oh, you know what that is? Uh, he delivered pellets, pellets uh, to somebody before this, so he had to get rid of the pellets. And then this is the oats. It's quite a bit right in there right now, in that bag. Are you guys gonna scoop some in from the bag? See for people who are watching this video, you know, Ryan's almost to the antler. If that's what it is, he's picking it up. It must be. He's holding it up. Yeah, the problem is with <laughs> it, you can't see that thing very good backing up because. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Well, we're getting set with that. <laughs> Here comes Ryan with an antler. That's nice. Ready? <laughs> that ain't gonna work. What you got there? One, two, three, four pointer. Uh -huh. Must have been off an eight point buck. That's a nice one. Now the guy who's watching probably know what deer was dropped out. Actually, it must have dropped off during the day, during the... Must have. Might be able to see it on the close view camera. On, uh, you know, the, whatever happened with the antler drop. Look at that eight point. No, uh, well, four point. Uh, it was probably an eight point one. Yeah. It did have this one and the other one. Yeah. Mm -mm, squirrel. So this is squirrel heaven. Flip the switch down here. Some, yeah, there's a push button or a switch down there. It's just dusty. Yeah, it might be a little snow. Yeah, it's too bad they weren't a sight thing on that slightly. Have to climb. There's no sight window, so to speak, in it. But that's it. Ryan's gonna add that antler to the collection. He's found it. He thinks seven, but it's up to eight now. About. You guys will have to rewind on the close view and see if you can figure out. Um, yeah, I figure out if you can see the deer losing that antler. It must have been during the day today. Man, my. Eleven antlers, John says. It yeah, may be so. Randy found a couple. And I think Richard found one. The, um. Oh, 11 days. 11 days. What's the 11 days mean, John? <laughs> oh, that how long we went with the, with the oats? She's getting, she's getting, what? Sorry. She's getting full. Yeah, that's a lot of oats to be um, shoveling by hand. They, he's going to do something different next year. <laughs> he don't, he's not too happy about this scenario. What's that? I thought you said Mike. Yeah. Uh, you got to turn, turn that back on. All right. put more in this, don't you? <laughs> you guys are laughing at my fall. <laughs> oh. 
I bet Bebop's gonna get a kick out of that one. I won't hear the end of that one for years. At least I laughed about it. Could have been worse. All right, so we're topping it up even more. Yeah, I mean, uh, ideally they'd like to have the oats delivered and, and fill up and be done with it. Rich is not happy with the um, thousand pounds in a bag that's sitting there that they got to shovel in with a five gallon pail. The, um, so they got to do something about that. It's either going to have to be, well, they'll figure something out. A bigger silo, another silo. Or just another place to dump it. They don't have to get it off the ground. So this, this is the road going down the hill. And there's already deer down there looking at us. This is the new garage. It's where he packs the oatmobile. Ryan's four pointer. Yeah. Whoops. You know, I was gonna my black tape. I was gonna tape the front of that, but we'll get it later. Alright, I'm getting in this. Alright, I'm in the oatmobile. We got the heat going. We need to turn around. You gonna be able to fit it all in the feeders, you think? All this? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've already did this once today. Yeah, they probably ate quite a bit of it, I suppose. Yeah. Alright. So there we go. We're going for the oatmobile ride. Down over the hill. The steeper hill than it looks. Oh, I'm gonna put the uh, spout out. Who we get going? He's got to put the spout on the back there, the little extension. This is the automobile experience. <laughs> out of the bulldozer that people talk about. Get out so I can reach it. Yeah. All right. Get a close up here. Make it out of the sun. All right, so we got the oatmobile. Filling oats.
see what this river wreck is doing over here. The drill's turning. It's all done with his rear view mirror to line up, so. As you can see, there's one deer over there eating. They don't seem to mind the Oatmobile. Jumping back in where it's warm. It's all done with the rear view mirror. Still a lot of oats left in there. Yeah. I think four of them I did this morning. Those, those three and those two, five of them. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Pushing the wrong button here. Well, that didn't screw it up. It might have. Is it coming out or no? Oh, that is the up and down part. Yeah. I was pushing the down and I was supposed to be pushing the up. And I don't think it's working now. Wait, it's starting to go up. Is it? Yeah. Well, awesome. Slowly. It is slow. It's the, um, looking out the back window, we're just looking at that. Slowly going up in the air. It's tilted to get the ball, but I will this guy. Yeah, look at this deer right here. We're just two feet away. You don't care a bit. I probably you don't know, feed him an apple. Look at that deer. If I had an apple, he'd probably eat it right out of my hands. I'm good. Okay, so we got a slant in this thing now, as you can see. There's still a lot of oats in there. A lot of oats. You still got a lot in there. A lot. I got another. I'm gonna back up. You are, yeah. Go ahead. The old Dewalt angle drill in action. It's Randy, Randy's invention, but hey, it's 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 work. I wish I had an apple. I bet that deer eat right out of my hands. I'd say there's about a foot of packed snow here that I'm standing on. Is that one deer still in the woods watching? He'll be the first one out. Be 
sushi, please. Yeah, I should have the ice cream music. I'll have to have Richard put the ice cream music sound on this thing. He's still got the feet of the hasn't even put any in yet there. Number three. Is that it? Are you going to try to shovel some down there? No, that's enough. Alright. They got enough. They got at least 800 pounds today. Down and then I shut it down. Yeah, in the old days, you used to stand on this platform right here and fill 50 pound bags in the hopper. The thing's still lowering down, it's a slow, slow auger. Let's see. Oh, they're starting to come out now. The deer down there. Yeah, there's a snowmobile trail right here. Handy. I'm walking over where I fell down earlier so you guys can all laugh again. Let's see. Yeah, it's squeaky, it's cold. <laughs> and I'm not really dressed too good to be out here. They're a little bit nervous because of all the noise, but... And then back here in the woods, I can see them by eye pretty good, but there's a dozen or so coming. We zoom back out. Well, I guess that about ties it up. I'm just gonna go over this way. I know when I walk back, back past my icy spot. All right. Well, you guys got the gist of it, I guess. May not be the most professional video in the world, but it was a video. The silo, the extra oats on the ground that he's not too happy about. They'll have to five gallon pail that into that oatmobile, that ceiling, that's a bummer about that, but. I am walking back. I might just go in and have a cold one and sit where it's warm because my hands are a little cold. And I was going to um, put some tape on that camera down there, but I probably won't this trip. I was going to cover up the infrared lights so, so when it snowed out, it didn't look so bad. But I guess uh, I'm going to check out I'm surprised if this stayed going the whole time because I had to have internet the whole time. I'm gonna go inside this door and I am checking out and 
and thank you guys for watching and uh i'll see you in the chats later i am out wait i'll flip the camera over so you can look at my stupid face here i am <laughs> here's my stupid face i flipped you because you can see me but now i'm checking out bye